Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Mark Rano, and welcome to another episode of Pointless Top 10. A show where we make top 10 lists out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10! Number 10 is the bank in Ratchet. And even though there's not that much that's special about it, a lot of people know about it, and it's pretty conveniently located. Also, you might even say it's kind of Ratchet. You get it? <laughs> you get it? You get it? You get it? Oh. Number 9 is the bank in Booty Bay, and that's because even though it has a similar structure to the bank in Ratchet, pretty much the exact same structure, it's on a dock, and there's a bunch of crates and barrels all over covered in kelp, and there's a boat coming by every once in a while, and there's the goblin statue in the background that's at the start of this video. That makes it number 9. Hey. Number 8 is the bank in the goblin starting zone, and that's because, much like real life, it has very long lines with impatient and angry people. Yay. 7. Number seven is the bank in Iron Forge, primarily because of the awesome outside. Just look at it, it's got the giant balancing scale thing, and then the inside's alright, it's just a bunch of bars and stuff, but the outside's cool, so that gives it number seven. Six. Number six is the bank in Dalaran, and that's because it has these cool guild bank portal thingies on the wall, and then the bank teller windows, or the things, the walls next to them, I don't know what they're called, they look, they look like they have little snowflake prints built into them, and they're carved in, I don't know, and then it's got a cool snowflake on the ceiling on top of all that. It's just, it's an awesomely designed bank, and that gives it number six in my book, which, it's a great book. My book is a great book, you should buy it, best-selling novel. That was dumb. Five! Number five is the bank in Stormwind, and that's because it has a very... A uh, similar to real life bank feel. It's got all the teller windows, it's got the little rope cords and the rugs, and in the back there's the big vault, and if you go inside the big vault, there's Phineas G. Bankworthy, who is obviously the top banker there. He guards all the vaults. He's got a cape and a top hat and a shiny staff thingy. I don't know. It's really cool. It, he gets number five just because it or they get number five. You know what I mean. Phineas G. Bankworthy. Four. Number four is Darnassus. And that's because you look at these night elves at the bank and the tree, and you're like, okay, it's night elves in a tree taking your money and putting it behind them. Nothing really special about that. But then you zoom out a bit, and you realize the tree is not a normal tree. The tree is a giant bear. And then you realize that's not even a giant bear. That's a giant eagle on top of a giant bear. Whoa. Granted, that eagle could just be erupting from the bear as he, like, soars through the bear, killing him. Let's move on. Three! Number three is the Undercity, and that's because the bank in the Undercity is the focal point in the center of that city. And you have to go to and from the bank to really get around anywhere, unless you're traveling around the outside. But it's pretty cool, and even has little guild bank skulls on the sides, the edges of it, for access to the guild bank. I think it's awesome. I was actually going to make it number four but I mixed up the clips with Darnassus, so I was like, it can be number three. That's how quality of a program this is. Two. Number two is the Goblin Mobile Bank, known as Gobber, and he is specifically for the goblins, and you can summon him every 30 minutes, and he's just a mobile bank. I think that's really cool. I'm glad they added that as a racial ability. I hardly use it, but you know what? I have that ability to use it if I ever remembered to. So take that, other banks and non-goblins. A one and number one is the old Orgrimmar Bank. Who could forget the old Orgrimmar Bank? Easily the best bank ever created. The inside of it was mediocre, but everybody remembers sitting on top of it, or riding around the top of it, or running around the top of it on your mount. And that nostalgia factor just makes it the the best bank in World of Warcraft. Okay, okay. See you.